Hello, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video and Blind Woman Anticipates again, like I've been doing for the last two days. As you can see, I have a little bit more energy today. I'm actually feeling much better um, uh, than yesterday when I was recording the last couple of videos. I do feel much better, so... Um, yeah, I do have more energy and today as you can see from the title we will be discussing the plot for the feeling of falling in love which is the current title um I don't know if it'll change but so far the expected publication date is May 17th of 2022 this is by Mason Deaver I am actually pretty excited for this because I do love the books I've read from Mason Deaver before though I have yet to review I wish you all the best which is a beautiful romance book I have recommended it plenty of times in this channel and I'm actually very excited to dive into this plot because I've read that one but I definitely have reviewed um oh, I can't remember the title um oh the ghost we keep which wasn't really a romance but it it was it still worked out I loved it um like I said in that video, I did read it at a specific time where it definitely helped me. So I'm actually pretty excited to read this one. I'm just like really, really, really excited. And I'm glad it's coming out next year. Although I so wish it was coming out like in December or something so that I can just read it. Like, or like if it was coming out tomorrow, I'd be like, yes, it's coming out tomorrow. I want to read it. You know, I'm pretty excited. But anyway, let's talk about the plot and see what I can... If I can predict, if I can like say whatever I think about it, because I'm super excited. Just days before spring break, Neil Kearney, I'm so sorry, is set to fly across the country with his childhood friend and current friend with benefits, ooh, Josh, to attend his brother's wedding. Until Josh tells Neil that he's in love with him and Neil doesn't return the sentiment. With Josh still attending the wedding, Neil needs to find a new date to bring along. And almost against his will, roommate Wyatt is drafted. At first, Wyatt uh, Wyatt correctly thinks Neil is acting like a jerk. Oh, okay. But when they get to LA, Wyatt sees a little more of where it's coming from. Slowly, Neil and Wyatt begin to understand one another and maybe, just maybe, fall in love for the first time. exciting this is the type of romance i'm actually super excited about okay i don't know if like i've ever mentioned it but look um but the thing is i have i like reading romance i i do i'm picky about the romances i read but i have nothing against the the romance genre i really don't i um, I like, uh, romances, um, some of them as subplots. I like, I love watching them, like, in anime and stuff like that. And I do like reading them. However, I am very picky on the type of romance that I read because I want specific things in a romance and I don't, always get those things that's the thing like I I don't always get uh my I don't know my my like my like I, I don't I don't know my the things I want in the romances I find to say the least I um I I like there are certain things that I that I think I like when it comes to when it comes to, to romance that I just don't get all the time when I try to read. And it's just that it, it kind of, I am very picky. I either, f I usually find something I don't, I don't, I don't love, uh, something I, I don't, um, I don't know. It's so hard to, it's so hard for me to find what I'm looking for 
four in a romance. So I'm very picky over romances. And a lot of the romances I was familiar with at the time were straight romances. So, you know, man and woman. However, I my my whole uh, attitude to, um, like, I, I almost gave up on romance, actually, um, until I found, um, I mean, not fully, I still wanted to read it as a subplot in fantasy, but, like, I almost gave up on it until I found um, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, which definitely re-sparked my interest in romance, and since then, my favorite type of romance to read is, are the queer romances, um, I especially love male, male, male romances, female, female romances are, those are both my favorites. I like same sex romance to read about because it, it, I don't know, it just gives me the things I'm usually looking for. Um, in a romance, it's swoon worthy. It's usually very, um, it also has, um, you explore the feelings and you explore, you feel more, um, uh, I don't know, you feel more toward, at least I do, I feel more connected to the romance, I feel more chemistry in the romances. I also feel uh, the same connection, depending on what I read, when I read historical romance. Again, this uh, historical romance, um, that doesn't, it doesn't happen all the time. So like historical fiction romance, it doesn't happen all the time. But I do get it sometimes. I get my romance just also from fantasy, but if I want to read full on, full on romance, I have a hard time finding uh, romances that actually interest me. So, um, authors like Casey McQuiston and Mason Deaver are definitely authors I would go to to find an interesting romance. Um, that's not, um, I, I mean, I, I just, I love it because it's, they're usually pretty swoon worthy. Um, I am thinking, based on this description, however, even though it's like falling in love for the first time, which sounds super cute and super adorable, it says before spring break. Now I have, and he's meant to fly across the country. So it makes me think that this is going to be an adult book or a new adult, maybe taking place like that. Maybe, maybe they are college students I don't feel oh I it's either that they're college students or it'll be young adult where they're just in high school um and they're but and, and stuff like that but um I don't know maybe I'm wrong but because it says roommate though it does feel like a college setting or maybe like a work setting type so it feels kind of like new adult to adult but it does not feel young adult the same way that I wish you all the best and the ghost we keep feels well this one feels like I said it feels more like adult because it says roommates it feels kind of like it could be in a college setting um which I feel like it gives um YA is very fun for actually YA the YA um age range because I'm not going to call YA a genre because quite frankly young adult is not a genre young adult is a category in my opinion my opinion YA is more of a category just like adult and new adult and middle grade and so on and so forth so YA I think something that YA does very well is explore um, strong themes and I think that is something that um, Mason Deaver also does amazingly when he writes his books um, the um, I wish all the best and the ghost we keep is um, does explore explores the, um, the um, both of them explore something regarding mental uh, health um, it's, uh, I believe it's anxiety. If I remember correctly, yes, anxiety. Um, they do explore anxiety and therapy. So it makes me wonder, based on the description, it seems like there's going to be something regarding maybe some family dynamic, which is why maybe the roommate thinks, uh, Wyatt thinks maybe that um, our main, uh, Neil, might be acting like a jerk. So it makes me think that it's going to be something family, family, uh, familial related like maybe something happened it, maybe there's something in uh fam in his family dynamic that might make him act a little bit differently maybe there's um I wonder if he has like um issues with like relationships um or if or if he has committed relationships because it sounds like he's falling in love for the first time so it makes me feel like maybe he does not 
have many relationships at the time in this time um so it, i don't know it feels like maybe he 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 hasn't had a committed relationship and i want to definitely say that i want i would love definitely to dig why i want to know why what i i'm very curious about his backstory but i feel like it might have to do with family dynamics um i wonder if there's going to be more exploration on mental health i predict there might be some i think there might be some more exploration on mental health which again super excited for because he i i i mean i i am not um i don't go through any of this but i think that as a reader i kind of feel it through the characters and it feels it feels real like his characters feel real they feel they feel super like genuine and real they feel they feel like real people like a real per it feels like i would be talk i this is something i would discuss with a real person and that is something i love in his writing so um i feel like there's going to be definitely an exploration on strong themes relationships maybe friendships as well um and maybe mental health and family dynamics and how maybe because it says he's because he's flying to the wedding it says that you know why it starts to see why he's probably acting like a jerk um and it makes me feel like there's going to be something in the family dynamic um so it's actually kind of interesting because i think it can go in a couple of different ways in which like um something uh, and and i wish you all the best um our main character ben their family did not uh agree with the fact that he's non that they are non-binary i'm sorry I need to make sure I use proper pronouns. I know this. And sometimes I get I get kind of ca caught up in when I'm talking. So I'm sorry. They, uh, so their family doesn't, is not usually okay with the fact that they are non-binary. There's even a point where their father, um, if I remember correctly by the ending, where their father thinks it's a phase. And um, the main plot of the story really is that their family kicks them out of the house and they have they have to move in with their sister, Hannah. Um, in order to you know have a place to stay because their parents basically kicked them out and it's a cold night so it's it's so you can go that way maybe um that's a thing and in the ghost we keep we have that you know his parents i'm sorry uh their uh the the main character's parents I, what is his i don't remember the main character's name but i also uh but their parents understand like accept their um the, the fact that they're non-binary um but i believe if i remember correctly correct me if i'm wrong but i believe the her uh their grandmother doesn't know um know or understand their um um that they are non-binary so it can go either way like maybe the family does not understand uh i i don't know if neil will be non-binary in this one but um it maybe i'm gonna say their family like neil's family maybe they don't understand that they potentially could be non-binary an example here or or maybe there is part of the family that does accept them for being non-binary while another part of the family does not. And maybe that could be something that brings up a, uh, that maybe affects them in their daily life when they're with family. So I, I don't know, there's so much that could come up. I actually wonder if therapy will make a big part of the story in his first two books, therapy has been a part of the story. And I think it's great that in his books, he has put a positive spin on um, on therapy. And I, I love that he's representing it. So I feel like it could make a part of it, a part of the story, but I am not sure if it will. But I think it'll be interesting. But it definitely looks like it's going to be a an awesome, swoon-worthy romance and give me that romance that I, I really love so much. And it's coming out in May, which means that this is kind of like mid-spring. Like, it's mid-spring and 
like a month or so before summer. So it's like the perfect time for me to read it, you know? It feels right. It's like, it feels perfect. It feels right. And I'm really excited to read this. Let me know what you think about this. Oh, just for the record, he has an untitled YA book so far. And I think that's coming out in 2023. Let me check. Hold on. I have my braille note here uh, because I am reading the descriptions for you guys here. So let me double check. But I know he has a, an untitled YA book and I want to see if I can find the publication date because I, I, um, what I do sometimes is I periodically, I periodically will go through my, uh, 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 what is it? Um, I, I feel like. I feel like it's, it, 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 I, I check my, my authors once in a while. And yes, I was right. It is going to be published on 2023. So also really excited for that. When the title and plot comes out for that, I'll be examining that. So let me know what you think. I'm super excited. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, consume stories.